Now, Kenyans are increasingly looking for alternatives to regular cow milk, some for health reasons and others out of a simple preference. And with the country's average monthly consumption estimated at 65 million liters a month, more and more Kenyans are seeking alternatives like goat milk, not just for consumption, but as a beauty treatment as well. Now, a pair of entrepreneurs in Embu Town got inspiration from this and are now running a venture that makes skin products from goat milk. Edward Chwer caught up with them and he filed this report. At a glance, these look like ordinary bar soaps, but they are not. This is a special kind of soap, a product of Clio Nature, a skincare company established in 2015 by Kombonyaga as a result of persistent skin problems. My partner's child was suffering from a condition called eczema. That is what led us into the search and how we came to learn about the importance of using natural made products and that is how we realized that we can make a soap that can help the child. And this soap is made from, get this, <laughs> goat milk. Dermatologists and other researchers have actually proven that goat milk is very good for the skin. It is able to wash away the dead skin from the skin and it is able to now uh, encourage the skin to grow new skin cells. This soap is able to cleanse the skin without irritating it and actually keep the skin moisturized. Combo gets the milk from farmers in Embu County whom he has contracted, mixes it with other natural products like castor oil and turmeric, all done by hand. Most of the raw materials that we were to use and we use are locally available. The most special, important ingredient for us is the goat milk. We buy a data at 100 shillings and we take like 120 liters every week. We mix the milk with the caustic soda to make something we call lye. The lye is actually the one that converts all the fats in the oils into soap. We put the soap into, into what we call molds. This is to enable the, the soap now to form the shape that we need and at the same time to start the curing process. Lois Kimodo, a teacher by profession, is one of the goat farmers who have been supplying milk to Cleon Nature for the last two years. Mbuzi moja naweza nipatia three to four liters. Nimeona faida kubwa kwa sababu niko na ready market. Kabla nianze kuwauzia kulikuwa na changamoto kwa sababu wale watu walikuwa nanunua maziwa kutoka kwangu ni watu wa chache but sasa nilipopata huyu Cleon Nature huwa anachukua yote. In fact huwa hayatoshi. Cleon Nature huwa na supply weekly. So compared to the cows I think there is more benefit here. Combo says over time his products have been embraced by Kenyans across the country and are now stocked in various beauty stores and supermarkets in Kenya. Right now we have the capacity to produce like 2,000 soaps a day so that means we can do six days if we are working every day. We are targeting everybody to use our soap. It's not for ladies, it's not for men, it's for everyone. The reception has been good. Kenyans have really supported us. We have a, a very active online shop by the name Maidawa. The pure goat milk soap goes for 240 shillings. The turmeric soap, 240 shillings. Producing a bar of soap costs at least 150 Kenya shillings. But Combo says these went up when the COVID-19 pandemic struck. People went to the social media. And as being a business that was already available online and ready, we really made a lot of sales online. With 20 employees helping meet targets, Combo looks forward to expand in the near future and venture into more products. We are trying to get a bigger space and at the same time we are trying to look for fats so that we are able to increase our production capacity. For many, goat milk can give you some nice chai, but according to dermatologists, goat milk when used on your skin can give you incredible results among them softness and smoothness this explains why nyaga and his partner came up with this venture that makes this soap from goat milk to help kenyans maintain their skin edward chair made in kenya citizen tv